A Greek man says he missed the Ethiopian Airlines plane that crashed in Addis Ababa after arriving two minutes late at the boarding gate. I was mad because nobody helped me to reach the gate on time, said Dantinis Mavropoulos as he recalled his lucky day. A second man also says he narrowly missed the flight. The Boeing plane to Nairobi crashed six minutes after taking off, killing all 157 people on board. The victims are from more than 30 countries, including 32 Kenyans, 18 Canadians, and 7 Britons. Mr. Mvrapoulos, president of the International Solid Waste Association, said he was initially angry as staff had not helped him and he missed the flight. My lucky day, Mr. Mvrapoulos said he was put on to the next flight to Nairobi and only found out about the crash when he was stopped from boarding his next flight. He was taken to a police station for questioning when an officer told him that he was the only passenger booked on the flight that did not board. With a picture of his boarding pass, Mr. Mvrapoulos wrote, The officer told me not to protest but to pray to God. Police cross-checked his identity and questioned him on his reason for not boarding the aircraft. A text from a friend told him that the flight had crashed. Mr. Mbapoulos was reportedly traveling to Nairobi to attend a session of the UN Environment Programme. At least 19 victims were affiliated with the United Nations. He said, I'm grateful to live and that I have so many friends that made me feel their love. Dubai resident Ahmed Khalid said he had missed the connecting flight due to a delay in the first leg of his trip. He was then put on a later flight to Nairobi. Everyone was asking the cab and crew what was happening. But no one was saying anything, he told. They were just going up and down until one of the passengers saw on his mobile that the first plane which had just flew, like six minutes after it flew, it just crashed. His father, who was waiting for him in Nairobi, heard the news and immediately thought his son was on the flight. He said, I was shocked but shortly after, my son contacted me and told me he is still in Addison did not board that flight.